There is no question that Hillary Clinton came off as strong on policy last night. But at this point, if, if you're not for Hillary Clinton, you're looking for a reason to vote uh, for Donald Trump. And Trump, in, in many ways last night, uh, said things that people wanted to hear, particularly when you talk about economic policy, when you talk about even on this cybersecurity. Look, we don't know exactly who, who this is. And are we going to trust someone to have a handle on cybersecurity who broke the, broke the laws at the State Department and had her own server? Is that someone we want to trust national security with? And also talking about our national security, do we want to allow someone who for, had uh, many much impact on the policies for the last couple of years that led our foreign policy when she was secretary of state and the point he didn't make last night was she as she, she uh, pointed out many of his problems he never talked about and he should have talked about the fact that she allowed four americans to die in benghazi benghazi was not mentioned that was a missed opportunity as well missed opportunity on trump's part yeah well he did mention the fact that china should perhaps invade north korea he also defended russia so what do you have to say about that uh, those are his policies and ultimately he's going to have to come out and lay out why he wants to do that. But look, if you're Donald Trump and you're his campaign, you're feeling pretty good about where you are. All the momentum is with you right now. Hillary Clinton and her allies have spent $200 million attacking him on, on things he has said, policies he hasn't maybe exactly uh, uh, given all the details on, and yet he's still in this game. And well, there is a wealth of information that says people who haven't made a decision by now go with the person they think is going to be the winner. That's Todd, why these polls that are close, showing him up in many of the swing states or closing the gap means he's still in this game. Todd, immigration has been a mm -hmm. key issue for your organization. Uh, it came up in, in a couple of ways last night. I'm wondering what were the key moments in last night's debate for you? Any quotable moments uh, that you're going to use to drive your message from here? You know, we actually didn't see a lot on immigration last night, which was disappointing. I think we have one candidate who's made it pretty clear he wants to round up and deport 11 million undocumented immigrants, 4 million U.S. citizens, wants to shut down legal immigration, and another candidate who's really looked to prioritize immigration reform, and we'd actually like to see her flesh out what that means a little bit more. Um, I agree with David. I actually think Secretary Clinton came off much stronger on policy. I also agree with David that... Uh, you know, I don't think it's funny that Mr. Trump has uh, made a joke about Russians interfering in our immigration system, and, and I appreciate him not trying to defend that here right now. What we want to see going forward is a robust debate on immigration reform and really to settle the question, are, are we a nation that sees immigration and immigrants as a source of strength? Are we going to close ourselves off to the world, which would have a devastating economic impact? Yeah, immigration, homeland security, uh, labor. I mean, the it was like a vacuum uh, of that of those policies in terms of the discussion. Well, we still have two more debates. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think the second debate brings? It's a town hall setting, which some argue will make it a little more difficult to go on the attack because you have to deal with voters right there in the room more directly. Well, let's hope we talk about immigration. Go back, uh, because for Donald Trump, he has policies that many Americans favor. We did a, a focus group and surveys in the state of Ohio talking with women voters about what they saw as important. Border security was very important to them, as was deporting illegal immigrants who were here uh, committing crimes as is defunding sanctuary cities. Three things that Donald Trump talks about that helps win him, win him voters amongst women voters, particularly in the state of Ohio, or at least that's where we did our, our focus group work. So to suggest that he can't talk about the immigration issue in a way that attracts people is factually not right. And a, quite frankly, an area that the Democrats are a little weak on because they're not talking about it in the way that many Americans want to see our, our border become more secure and know who's coming into our country. Talk Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.